Excuse me, is this seat empty? Well, no, I'm expecting uh, you from here. The coffee. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. What do you want? I'm a simple man, too old for travel now. A little comfort, that is all I require. I'm not paying for this bill. Where is Shona now? In a warehouse in the East India Docks. You can be more specific. I want to get the manager. And, and I have not understand why, please. Charles did that deliberately. The baby is nothing. You cut. I can tell you one thing, Mick. Yes, Mr. Donovan. My friend has suddenly. He cannot fail to. in the festival hall. Do I get something to drink? Oh, of course, of course. Don't Anything to make you comfortable, to ease the vocal cords. We like the sound of your voice, Mrs. Donovan. And you are going to talk to us, aren't you? I suppose that's why I'm all dolled up like a Christmas tree. Somebody pushes a button and it's happy holiday. We expect you not to be helpful, naturally. Naturally. I'm glad you take it in such good part. But you must not make the mistake of assuming that we are light-hearted, easy-going people, Mr. Donovan. I couldn't make that mistake. The wires are connected to your head, your heart, and your kidneys. The agony will be far greater than anything you can imagine. Uh, but is all this necessary, I wonder? Now, look. There is a man, a go-between, called uh, Ludwig Heiner, and he has a friend called Emil Schoener. Oh, Schoener we find and stop, but Heiner eludes us. In time, of course, we find him too. But then I begin to wonder, who is he going to meet at the festival hall? And lo and behold, Mr. Donovan, you walk in. What did Heiner say to you? What was so important that you were sent to London? Simple questions, easy. Do we really need this barbaric form of persuasion? The man I came to see was Schoener. The man I met said nothing. He had no time. But we have all the time in the world. 